morning brew. Okay, it's um, what time is it? Seven. Yeah, about five past seven in the morning, and uh, I've been rudely awakened by uh, by the rain. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not heavy. Just uh, when it drips off the trees, it uh, comes down uh, with uh, a bit more force than when it's just gentle sprinkles. Anyway, um, that and the fact that I really needed to use the facilities uh, got me out of bed. So um, out of bed and uh, I'm up. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight back to bed for a bit. Nobody else is up. Uh, but yeah, anyway, whew. a lovely night's sleep from I think one o'clock until seven though. So uh, yeah, not bad. I wondered where that wheelbarrow had got to. What are you doing, Matty? I'm measuring how much moisture content is in the wood, and it's wet, very wet. 17. 42.
So last night you remember we were making charcoal and here is the result. Oh yeah, that's looking quite pleasant in there. Very good indeed. Lovely. Awesome. So boom, there it is. One charcoal driven barbecue for lunchtime. Oh. What have you made, Matthew? Uh, well, it's going to be charcoal. <laughs> That's lump wood charcoal, is it? Did <laughs> he find that he's video or something? Right, Ollie, what have you got there, mate? Right, well, this is my setup. Cool. The drone. Oh, wow. An iPadicus. iPad Mini. Super duper. Down there. Oh, Mavic. Check this bad boy. That's a DGI. Mavic Pro. Mavic Pro. So that's got a 4K camera on it. It's a quadcopter. It doesn't look like a quadcopter yet, does it? it certainly doesn't, but it will do when we, uh... when, you, when you pull it apart later. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. So? Boom. And then... And there's, look at that camera on the front of it here. So let's just try and get in on that camera. So that's a 4K gimbaled camera on the front. Yeah. It's absolutely correct. magnificent little piece. It's got, a, it's got a filter on it at the moment. Okay. Might have to change that in a minute, depending on the light level. Yeah. A spare battery. Oh, wow, okay. And controller. Yeah. Okay. And that's the controller, okay. Super that's duper. Nice compact controller. That is very cute, isn't it? And that's pretty much it. Um, Wicked. So you use, you use so the on. iPad for the FPV stuff, so that's yep. the, that gives you the... Um, that gives us the uh, view. The view. And this thing will, this thing will what, fly for what, uh, 30 minutes, 20 minutes? Uh, 27 is what they rate well, it at. But not bad, yeah. Not bad, yeah. So. And, and what, how many, what, what sort of range? Like a, a mile or two, or...? Uh, well, I've had uh, like uh, three or four kilometres out of it. I try and uh, not risk it too much, because we're going to get it back home again, so... Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to fire this thing up in a few seconds then. Awesome. We're off Cheers. to fly the droney, the wonderful droney of Oz. We're off, we're off, we're off, we're off, because, 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 do 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 do. Well, we're running right now, so whenever you're ready, yeah, you will, okay. go for it. You can see how windy it is by the trees. It's quite dark, typically the sun's going in now. So, uh... Oh my goodness, that's just amazing. Oh my goodness. 
That is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. Going over people's houses. <laughs> Holy magoli! You can see on the map in the right hand corner. Do you see the wind farm? Do you? Seven kilometres an hour coming back. Okay, so the headwind was the problem. Yeah. All right. So uh, Ollie's just activated the return home function. So hence all the beeping. We. How far did we go? Uh, about about a kilometre. Yeah, wasn't just it? over a kilometre. Yeah. Just over a kilometre. Uh, at about 100 metres high. We went off to see if we could find a wind farm. We'll get some of this footage up on. Um, uh, Ollie will uh, send some of the footage for us so we can uh, have a look at it. Uh, on video, but um, yeah, this is really quite a mad experience. Really quite surreal. Anyway, uh, you can hear the wind. It's quite uh, quite strong wind out today. So um... okay, so uh, Ollie's going to put it in tracking mode. Uh, he's going to find me. It's going to approach me, hopefully, and um, then it's going to track me, and I'm going to go for a, a little walk, and uh, and we'll see what it does. Ready? Yeah, off you go. All right. Okay, I can see that it's rotating. I'm walking over to one side of the field. Run. This thing's really quite cool. It's actually tracking me now. So, I don't know if you can see it. I can't really look where I'm going. Oops. Yeah, and she's tracking me, auto, fully automated. Okay, so she's in uh, return home mode, GPS mode. Um, it's really quite windy out here. And uh, hopefully, maybe if I got that thing in shot, there she is. So, in theory, she should come down now and land on that pad. Look at that. Unbelievable piece of equipment. Really very okay, impressive. Okay, one really interesting thing to look at here is notice how the camera is gimbaled. So it follows a specific target and stays on that target um, and that just gets rid of a lot of the vibration and uh, keeps everything a nice crisp image hey, they dog. no dogs aren't allowed here are they no but um, we've seen people walking dogs here yeah? So Simon and Haley showed up, and uh, thanks to our friend Kev, uh, who shot a few pigeons this morning, we've got some pigeon breasts to uh, to cook up. So they're going to go in the wok in a minute, and uh, we've got pigeon breasts for lunch. Fan Dabby. Do Three, three minutes aside. The onions will probably take longer, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did I put an onion now? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, bit, bit, bit of uh, pigeon. Oh, a bit of pigeon? Yeah. All right. Let's see. How do we? Oh, I, actually, I will do. What are we doing? 
Do 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 do. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Coordination with Happy food. days. Fast bit of pigeon, that. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Pigeon club. <laughs> Very. Anything once you get enough heat into it. Oh, sorry. So the charcoal's back, gasifying. Uh, Sai, what's the readings on the uh, on the wood there, mate? We've got a twenty percent. Twenty percent. Oh, thirteen. Oh, look at that. I don't understand.